Hello again. Today we will be speaking about affine transformation. I mean about such transformations which are changes the shape or dimension affine transformations I mean we will be speaking about the transformation uh, with change the shape of the particle elements and which are given by some matrix product. I mean we will be speaking about the such and transformation which can be expressed as a matrix product. I mean we will have two elements, I mean two vectors x and y and the transformation given by the matrix A. Okay, uh, we'll be speaking about some some simple square, I mean it will be 0, let's say 1, 2, 3 points, okay, and the points will be given by the coordinates 0, 0, let's say uh, 1, 0, uh, 1, 1, here we have such an coordinates of that points and, and uh, 0, 1, and due to that assumption here we have let's set our base square element and for that element here we have the vector x o is given by the 0 0 let's say x 1 will be given by the 1 0 I mean it's a vector connected with that component x 2 it's 1 1 and the x 3 will be 0, 1. And the, let's say the simplest transformation, it's a scale. Uh, and how it works? Generally, the scale affine transformation is given by the matrix A, which is, which is given by such a matrix. I mean, here we have the zeros here, and on the diagonal, here we have some non-zero elements. It could be, for example, 2 and 1, okay? And then the 2, it will be the scale factor. In the moment, we'll see how it will work. Okay, and let's try to make the transformation. Okay, firstly, we have that, for example, first component. I mean, the Y0, it will be the image of the transformation due to the matrix product. I mean, X, uh, 0 times A. And what we get as a result? It will be, in that case, uh, 2 times 0, uh, sorry, 2, 0, 0, 1, and here we have such a component, it will be, let's say, 0, 0, because it will be the first element, and as a result we see that due to the way how we should compute the matrix product, we have 0 times 2, it's 0, plus 0 times 0, it's 0, I mean, here we have exactly 0, and the same situation here, I mean, the 0 times 0 is 0, plus 0 because 0 times 1 is still 0, here we have 0, 0. I mean, if we take the x0, we will get exactly the same y0, okay? What about the next element? It will be such a thing, I mean, here we have again the same element, and here we have 1, 0, and as a result we have 2 due to the matrix product, and zero as a, another component. And now we see that the first component, I mean the x component was one, and this time after the transformation it's two times bigger. Okay, and what about the second point? Due to our scale transformation, here we have that it's a two, zero, zero, one times one, one, and we see that it will be the same as we're talking about the first operation, I mean the 1 times 2, it's 2 plus 0, the result is 2, and here we have the 1, because 1 times 0 is 0, plus 1 times 1 is 1, here we have such an element, I mean the y2, it's exactly 2 and 1, and the last transformation for the last point, y3, it's a times x3, and here we have the result, I don't know what the result will be, put the feeling in the moment, 0, 1, and here we have, uh, here we have 0, 1. And we see that it will be 0 times 2. It's 0 plus 0 times 1. It's 0. The sum is 0. And if we are talking about that element, it's exactly 1. Okay. What we see as a result? Let's again draw our 
points which give us the square, would be the x, y, let's say, and our initial image was, let's say, give, will be given by the blue points, I mean here we have the 0, 1, 2, and 3, okay, and after the transformation, I mean I will buy the uh, green color, I will show the new points, and we see that the point O is exactly the same, but the point 2 will be here, uh, sorry, of course, point 1 will be exactly here, point 2 will be also on the same level, but the length will be bigger and the point 3 will be still the same, okay? I mean that before transformation, I mean our base shape, it was the square, after the transformation we have the rectangle, okay? I mean that operation is a scale of our thing, because due to the first component, I mean the, let's say, x component of our element, we increase the dimension two times. If we are talking about uh, the y dimension, we see that the scale component was exactly one, and that is why we have exactly the same shape. Okay, another tra fine transformation is the rotation. I mean the transformation, okay, let's write it down, Ro and the rotation will be the transformation which doesn't change the dimension of the element. There will be some special indicator of such a transformation. Generally, that thing will be given by the matrix. Let's say, for example, as example, it will be 2 uh, square root of 2 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 and the same. Important thing is that here we have the different signs and the signs here. The indicator of the rotation transformation is the determinant of that matrix. I mean, if the determinant of the main matrix, of the um, transformation matrix will be 1, then we can uh, speak about the rotation. Okay, let's check that thing. I mean, the determinant of A, it's a, let's check it, it will be that component I, that times that component, I mean the uh, I mean the square root of 2 over 2 times square root over 2. I mean, we see that it's a 1 over 2, I mean the 1 half. And it will be minus, but the, another minus is here, that is why as a result we have the plus and the same value. I mean, it's a, again 1 over 2. And that is why we see that the result is exactly 1. I mean, if we have the matrix where the, um, where the determinant is exactly one, then we can speak about the rotation. Let's check how it works in our case. Okay, I mean for the first point, uh, we have such a thing, oh sorry, of course x0, and as a result we see that there will be, a, it will be square root of 2 and that components here and here and here and let's put the point 0, 0 because it will be for the XO and we see that again it's a 0, 0 because that element, that, that, that element and that element times that element plus both of that products, here we have the 0, the same here, that times that and that times that and here we have again zero. It means that point O, it will be the point of the rotation. I mean, the rotation will be taken about the point zero. Okay, what about x1? It will be such a thing. A lot of things to write down. Times. 1, 0, and let's say what we will get as a result. It means that it will be square root of 2 over 2 minus 0, because it's connected with the second product. It means that here we have such a thing. What about that component? We see that it will be exactly the same, because 1 times square root, over, uh, square root of 2 over 2, it's exactly that value, minus 0 because of that I mean, we see that 
point one we will be transformed to the another position and we see that from the element from the point with only one non-zero component we will get as a result two non-negative non-zero components okay what about the second point it will be such a thing and again it's a, let's say simple transformation simple computations and times one one and we see that as a result of the first product we see that it's a that value minus that value it means it's exactly zero if we are talking about that element it's that value my plus that value it means that he will have uh, he will have that it's a uh, two times square root of two over two it means that it's a uh, zero and square root of two okay he will have such a thing i mean we see that from the element with two non-zero components we have element with only one component which uh, is not equal to zero and the last point i mean the y3 the image of the transformation of the x3 it will be such a thing and let's put the values if you have the 0 1 because it the was such an there were such an coordinates of the of the point 3 and as a result we have 0 from the first product minus square root of 2 over 2 as a second component and the same here we have, but with the positive value okay let's put together our uh, results okay i will again draw our plane x y again i will put our base shape i mean let's say by the blue color i will put the point 0 0.1 point 0.2 and point 0.3 okay let's say he will have our uh, square and let's put our result together by the green color i will show you the image of our transformation i mean the point x o is transformed to the same point i mean he will have exactly the same point o prime if we are talking about the point one prime he will see such a thing i mean if we are talking about that point if we are talking about uh, that point it will be moved from the he will have the result i mean it will be moved from the position one i mean from the zero from the one zero it will be moved to the to that coordinates okay i mean it will be somewhere here because it's approximately 0 0.7 and it's visible that the length of that vector is exactly one because it's due to the pythagoras theorem okay i mean he will have the new position of the point one prime uh, okay the second component i mean the point two is given by the uh, by the simple relationship we see that the first component will be exactly zero the second component will be approximately here i mean he will have point two prime he will have that image here we have the second side of our element and the last point is here and we see that it's uh, almost exactly the same as a point y1 here we have only the negative x component i mean it will be the symmetry i mean the, it will be axial symmetry of the point one i mean it will be approximately somewhere here i mean here we have the point three prime okay and we see that such an operation is a rotation of our initial of our initial shape i mean that transformation the transformation where the determinant is one takes the shape and without any scaling makes the rotation and here we see that it's rotated by the po uh, exactly by, uh, by the angle 45 degrees thank you for attention see you next time